All right, chat. This is where we go off the rails. I'm a little nervous. I have no problem talking to like a thousand people here, but I'm nervous right now because I'm about to show you something that's really interesting to me, and I don't know how if y'all are gonna like it. Like, like when, like when you, when you, 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 get, you get a girlfriend and you're trying to hide that you like D and D because you're not sure if she'll leave you if she finds out. I don't know if my, if, uh, if y'all are gonna, if y'all are gonna leave me when you see this. Oh uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Nervousness engage. We all, we all will. You'll all leave. Jose, you shatter my heart. All right. What I have here is a script for get to the point first spirit run. Okay. Shut up, Dropbox. So this is get to the point spirit run. Michael and Karen, you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in spirit run. Now let's get to the point. All right, if any of you have seen my Get to the Point videos, this is a very quick guide, it's very abrasive, and the scripts are always very short. The videos are usually two to three minutes long, but they've got a lot of video editing involved. So anyway, I've got a script here, and then down here I scribbled out a few things. So, step one in making a video is make a script. The reason I say that, how many times do you guys watch a video of a YouTuber and they are talking about something? Maybe it's a build guide for a new Reaper PvP build. And they're like, and, uh, you know, I chose this trait um, here in this uh, column because it's really good uh, when you... All right, my point is they talk slowly. They have to think about what they say. And there's a whole lot of uh, 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 uhs, right? And if they're lazy with editing, those stay. If they try to edit, that adds a lot of time. It is really good if you already know what you're gonna say and you can just blast through it as fast as possible. Now that doesn't mean I'm not gonna make mistakes. I will, but yeah, we've got that. So the second thing I had to have before we started was footage of Spirit Run. Uh, Spirit Run, Gorse of Old Sabbath of footage, here we go. So this video, I'm just gonna mute it because we, we, we don't need to hear it. Uh, this is when we did Wing 1 earlier this week. Okay, so everything I'm gonna talk about, I should have footage of somewhere in this video, okay? So I've got the raw footage here, I've got a script. Next step is I need the audio. Now, what am I gonna do for the audio? I just need a program to record myself. And what I'm going to do, you got any of you that have seen my guides know that uh, when I'm doing, and of course, the, you wouldn't be doing this part if you're making a guide for how to fix a refrigerator, but the application is the same. You guys know how my, I usually have my character talking during the guide. I'm gonna get my character somewhere that's well lit and I'm gonna have him talking and then I'm gonna record me reading my script. So I'll already have video footage of him talking. So anytime I don't, uh, say something related to the subject matter, and it cuts back to Muckluck the Asura standing there talking, I've already got that there. It's already in there. So I'll have him standing there while I do this. So I'm going to, you you just, you use slash talk. I do use slash talk, yes. But I try to be in an area related to what I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do is, this is the effectively the second boss of Raid Wing 1. So I'm gonna go into Raid Wing 1 so the background makes sense. Now, this is a fresh reset, so I can't like run to Spirit Run. Let's see, we, we, we need to find like a well-lit spot. All right, this should be good. Now, sometime, we're gonna close these windows. Um, hold on. Wait, what is the... What is the command to close this? Crap. Oh, Alt Shift T, there we go. Metrics off, got it. Alt Shift T. All right, so we got that. Now, sometimes I think all of my infusions and stuff are actually getting in the way of this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unequip, 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 unequip. And we're going to take off the... Here, just equip that. We're gonna take off the chalk just because it's visual clutter, okay? And in-game noise has gotta go. So right here is Streamlabs OBS. This is the program I'm using to stream to you guys. I am going to use this start recording button right here to record everything on my screen and everything it hears. I'm going to hit, this is the audio from the computer. 
This is audio from me. I'm gonna mute the audio from the computer. So if something I don't expect happens, like Windows pops up a notification, it will not go onto the recording. All right, so it's just gonna have whatever comes through my microphone. That's it, nothing else. All right, so we've got that up there. Next step is I'm gonna do this and I'm going to swap to a scene that doesn't have my camera and it doesn't have chat. Uh, this scene is just called game only. So give it just a minute. All right, and then I like my gauntlets to be transformed during this. So I'm going to do this, unsheath, and then do slash talk, and then I'm going to record it. Now, this recording is going to include mistakes, and that's why I'm doing this live. And I'm gonna occasionally turn the camera around so it's not at the same angle the whole time. All right. <sighs> Clicking start recording. Muckle look here, and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet-style event that counts as the second boss of Raid Wing 1. This sucker is a buy one, get one free, and if you can get past the Veil Guardian, this thing should be free loot, with the exception of one training run I did on EU that thought clockwise meant left. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit. It can be broken down into three mini-events. First room, you watch Deadly... Mistake there. First room, you catch deadly orbs of energy with your head. This is 100% safe and OSHA approved. They will spawn in any of these five points. Throw raid markers down like this and yell at people to run into the orbs in the order that they spawn. Priority number one is stand in the correct spot. Priority number two is kill mobs while standing in the correct spot. That's it. Do this enough times and the room is beaten. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Tell your worst DPS to grab the brazier because that person has lost their weapon privileges. Note, I learned today that it's brazier and not brazier. Apparently a burning brazier is flaming underpants. The more you freaking know. The next section, you run from a wall of death coming behind you. Eight people in your raid, if you have two healers, then everyone else run through the circle. So they capture part way. Then continue on ahead and attack the wall. Healers lag behind and finish capturing every circle. Make sure you glide at the drop and make sure you don't neglect the last circle, which is way off to the left when the road turns to the right. Once past the final wall, the last challenge appears, standing on five squares. <gasps> the first button is on the ground here, to the left of the sta- Made a mistake. The first button is on the ground here, to the right of the stairs. The second button is up the stairs, then straight across. The third and fourth buttons are across the jumping puzzle. Run re one requires a good jumper, the other a mediocre jumper. The final button is across the room and through a small hallway on the left side. Once all of them are pressed simultaneously, for you warriors that means all at the same time, all the attackers despawn, and you get the loot. If your worst DPS with the burning underpants didn't screw up, place the brazier here to get extra treasure. You can also jump... If your worst DPS with the burning underpants didn't screw up, place the brazier here to get extra treasure. You can also jump shroom up and glide to a second bonus chest, then glide out and under the original balcony for a third bonus chest. Use slash GG to kill yourself to return to the group. Now you know how to get spooky. You're welcome. Click these links. And I've ended the recording. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap back to a scene where y'all can see me. Hello, welcome back. And... Yeah, so I made a few mistakes there, and next step is we're going to have to edit those out. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do next is I don't think I'm going to need Guild Wars 2 anymore. So if I was on a weaker computer, I would close this now. But I actually, I do remember a scene I'm going to have to record later. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, and it is, it is going to dump the thing I recorded into this video's thing. I believe it's gonna be this sucker right here. Great, so I'm just gonna rename this to Spirit Run Raw for raw footage. And another thing I would like to do is I have an idea for a joke in the footage that requires this character with the phantom hood. So I'm gonna log into this character really quick 
And this area is way too bright. So we're gonna go to Mistlock Sanctuary for a second. He's got so much darkness. I, I need to make sure he's facing a light source. Otherwise you can't tell the differences in his armor. So the, what I, my idea is when I say, now you know how to get spooky, you're welcome. It's going to flicker between Mukluk the Asura and this Asura very rapidly for a few seconds, like a horror movie scene. So what we're going to do is slash talk. Start recording. Oh, oh, I'm on the wrong scene. Hold on. So I'm going to hit stop recording. I'm going to switch to the game only scene. Start again. And just leave it recording for a few seconds. Now, some guy just ran between me and the camera. So just mentally restarting. One, two, three, four, five. And let's say that camera angle was no good. I will get a little closer. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so stop recording. Got it. We've got that. And now I'm just going to tab back out to here. And uh, that's my mistake right there. This one should be the Start one we again. just did. I'm going to uh, and mute it. I'm just going to delete the audio from this. Great. So uh, spirit run. And I'm putting the start of the same name just so the, the files next to each other. Spirit run uh, spooky mug. How do you change scenes again? So if I go, here's my OBS. My scenes are all created here from long ago. I have one scene I've called game only. And game only... Uh, you see, this is hidden, this is hidden. It's just showing the game. That's it. But if I go to my the main scene I've been using, uh, which is right here. Now, I have a hotkey for it on my stream deck, but this is it right here. You see, it's got the display, the alert. So if you follow, that'll pop up on the screen. Uh, more of that, the chat over on the right side, the logo that's behind me, my camera. So all of those are things I don't want to show in a YouTube guide. Okay. So let's put him back where he was because I had him in a very specific location. Okay, so now we have got our raw footage to get started. So I think I'm done with Guild Wars 2 and this computer's fast enough that it could open it again really quickly if I need to. So the next step is I'm going to go into DaVinci Resolve. Um, DaVinci Resolve is free, guys. If you're interested in trying this, it's free. There is a paid version all the stuff I've made has been with the freeware, okay? So we're opening up free DaVinci Resolve. You can Google uh, Resolve download and you will find it very easily if you're interested in that. So we're gonna open this up. Uh, it, it can take a while to open on a slow computer. Uh, here's where I was editing Resident Evil. So I'm just gonna hit new project and I'm going to go to edit down here and I'm just going to immediately hit save. And so we're going to name the project. And this will be uh, Get to the Point Spirit Run. Okay, so there we go. So now the project has started. Now, from here, Spirit Run Raw, I'm going to left click and drag this down here. And it's going to say, do you want to mess with the frame rate? I usually just say leave it as to whatever it is. And we now have the raw footage in here this is a magnifying glass all i'm doing right now is zooming in and zooming out guys okay so there is so much in this program i don't know how to do yet there's a many buttons in here i have no idea what they do i'm going to teach you what i know okay so this bar here is the video and this bar down here is the audio so step one is i'm going to take any mistakes i made when i was recording this and i'm going to rip them out as well, and this is a personal preference, have any of you ever seen uh, Philip DeFranco? Philip DeFranco. This editing technique, I'm not saying he started it, but I'm saying I got it from watching him. He, like, will freaking cut out the breaths. Like, he will be like, welcome to the show. And then he'll cut out where he inhaled. So it's just, bah, 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 bah. it's just rapid information. I don't know what the technique is called. I picked that up from watching him. That is something I like to do. If you've ever felt like my videos provide information a little bit faster, that's what I was going for. Hopefully some of you noticed it. All right, so here we go. If I start now, space bar is play and pause. All right, there's, there's a little gap of dead space at the beginning. Control, I hate this hotkey, I don't know how to change it. Control backslash makes a cut. And then I'm gonna click on this and hit backspace to delete that chunk. 
And then I could do two things here. I could left click and just drag this over, or I could click here and delete the empty space and it moves everything over. So now the video starts here. Muck a look here and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a... Okay, there's a tiny little space here. I'm gonna move that over a few frames and I'm gonna crank this up a little bit so I can hear what the volume's like. And let's go. Point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet style event that counts as the second boss of Raid Wing 1. This sucker is a buy one, get one free. And if you can get past the Veil Guardian, this thing should be free loot, with the exception of one training run I did on EU that thought clockwise meant left. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit. Okay. So that's where I was talking left. to you guys. Meant left. So we're going to cut here. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit. It could be broken down. And then I'm going to make a cut right here, and I'm going to delete this chunk, and then delete that space, and now it does this. Clockwise meant left. It can be broken down into three mini events. First room, you watch deadly... Mistake there. First room, you... Okay, so I restarted with the phrase first room. First room... First room... So, cut there, and then I need to find where I said first room. Three mini events. First room... First room... Uh, left and right arrow keys moves one frame. Make another cut. Delete. And this should go together pretty well. Three mini events. First room, you catch deadly orbs of energy with your head. This is 100% safe and OSHA approved. They will spawn in any of these five points. Throw raid markers down like this and yell at people to run to the... By the way, I'm using the mouse wheel right now. This um, mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down. The orbs in the order that they spawn. Priority number one... Okay, so right there... On. I did a big inhale. I don't want to keep that. Okay, so I just dragged that on top of that and it just ate up that chunk. Spawn. Priority number one is stand in the correct spot. Priority number two is kill mobs while standing in the correct spot. That's it. Okay, and then we got another space here. Okay, uh, off to bed. Can't wait to watch this on the VOD. Good night, Lost. Which buttons did you use to move it back earlier? You hit a series of buttons to move the entire section of video back without using um without using cuts so okay so like if there's an open space here i can hit backspace and it deletes the empty space now that's dangerous but what it does is it just literally will take everything to the right and go shunk and if you're like if i had some stuff on another layer up here it would have gobbled that up so you only want to do that at certain times is the actual name of that rain counter spirit woods not spirit run just asking how to save you future cuts uh, is it? Oh, man. Uh, at this point, I'm not sure if I would re-record it, but let's see. Guild Wars 2, Raid Wing 1. Uh, it is called Spirit Woods. Okay. All right, so we've got a mistake here. How many times did I say Spirit Run, and would that be something I could easily fix? Good catch. So I'm saving my project. I'm going to go back to the beginning. No, no, this is the kind of stuff I have to deal with when I'm editing chat. Sometimes I make a mistake like this, and I have to go, is it easier to fix this? Accept that it's a mistake and upload the video knowing people will point out the problem. Or should I re-record the whole freaking thing and start over? So, let me see something. Muckaluk here, and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet-style event that counts as the second boss of Raid Wing 1. This sucker is a buy one, get one free, and if you can get past the Veil Guardian, this thing should be free loot, with the exception of one training run I did on EU that thought clockwise meant left. It can be broken down into three mini events. It's First it. room, you catch deadly orbs of energy with your head. This is 100% safe and OSHA approved. They will spawn in any of these five points. Throw raid markers down like this, and you at people to run into the orbs in the order that they spawn. Priority number one is stand in the correct spot. Priority number two is kill mob. All right, so it seems like I said it twice at the beginning. So we're going to keep an ear out for that while standing in the correct spot. That's it. Do this enough time. All right, so here I had some dead space while I changed the camera angle so it didn't get too boring. So right here, I'm going to make a cut. Left click, backspace, left click, backspace. Spacebar. Correct spot. That's it. Do this enough times and the room is beaten. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Tell your worst DPS to grab the brazier because that person has lost their weapon privileges. Note, I learned today that it's bra- All right, I don't like this empty space here. Cut. Left, 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 left. Cut. Gobble that up. Lost their weapon privileges. Note, I learned today that it's brazier and not brazier. 
Uh, put in a text that says officially called Spirit Woods. That's not, that's a good idea. That is one way I could approach this problem. Apparently a burning brazier is flaming underpants. The more you Why that young know. white boy moan? <laughs> you freaking know. Apparently that's not turned off with the alerts. All right. So we got a big dead space here where again, I changed the camera angle. So left click, backspace, left click, backspace. Back up. Freaking no. The next section you run from a wall of death coming behind you. Eight people in your raid, if you have two healers, then everyone else run through the circle. So they capture part way. Then continue. Again, I took a big breath. I don't want to keep it. I don't like that. Part way. Then continue on ahead and attack the wall. Healers like Again, same thing. Cut, back, 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 cut. Drag that over. Wall. Healers lag behind and finish capturing every circle. Make sure you glide at the drop and make sure you don't neglect the last circle, which is way off to the left when the road turns to the right. And there's a big opening here. I looks like I changed camera angle again. Once past the final wall, the last when the road turns to the right. Once past the final wall, the last challenge appears, standing on five squares. <gasps> the first ball. Now. This right here, where's this gasp? <gasps> I'm thinking about downloading like uh, an old, you know, like audience, you, you know, like when you watch an old TV show and like the whole audience goes, <gasps> yeah, I'm thinking about downloading that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you could drag these to another bar. And that way when I zoom out, I could see right where that spot was. So I might put in like, yeah, like an audience reaction gasp there just for a joke. So I'm, I'm gonna make that a little easier to see. <gasps> the f Can you get deleted cuts back? Uh, control Z. Control Z is undo, just like in Microsoft Word. The first button is on the ground here to the left of the stick. Made a mistake. Okay, so right there, made a mistake. Made a mistake. The first button. Okay, so I restarted with the phrase the first. The first bu Okay, nice. So, what I'm gonna do is drag this over, and this should make sense again. Squares. <gasps> the first button is on the ground here, to the right of the stairs. The second button- Alright, again, there was a little gap there that I think could be- oh, Something to remember, guys. The average attention span of someone when they're in the mood to watch YouTube is freaking short. Like, you- if you want your video to be watched, you gotta just chop, 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 chop. Like, there are some people who will watch a slow-talking person do an hour-long video. But, that's a small, small, small target audience. Whether it's talking fast, cutting out dead space, you know, playing your words, just you know, keep it- keep it going, keep it going. The stairs. The second button is up the stairs, then straight across. The third and fourth- now, I might keep these gaps. The reason is I'm explaining where the buttons are. So I have to show the button. The second button is up the stairs, then straight across. So the what I'm going to do is make cuts here. But if I don't need this extra space, I'm going to slice it out. The third and fourth buttons are across the jumping puzzle. Run One requires a... Okay, I made a mistake there across the jumping puzzle run run puzzle run. across the jumping puzzle one requires a good jumper the other a mediocre jumper the final button the, the okay and I'm going to cut this out uh hey muck is this software particularly hard to run i find a lot of the editing software system intensive for some reason well editing is an intensive software um my computer before this one, many people considered it a potato, and it ran this fine as long as I wasn't trying to do too much else. Like, I could not stream and run this at the same time. Now, another thing, chat, is I'm in the habit of hitting Control s like every five clicks. You want to be in that habit. And I, 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 I say that for Excel, Word, editing a video, whatever. You don't want to have your system freeze and lose hours of work. Thank you, Mug, for doing this. I'm Chainsburg, I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are enjoying it. The final button is across the room and through a small hallway on the left side. Once all of them are pressed... Alright, so again, there's dead space there that I prefer to cut out. Once all of them are pressed simultaneously, for you warriors, that means... Okay, so I did uh, a camera change there. So do this. 
And I'm when you've got the the red little bumper, it will kind of resist going past it. Do you, do you see that? There's like a little bit of resistance. So what you can do is move the bumper exactly where you want it and then just drag it over and it kind of clicks into place. Simultaneously, for you warriors, that means all at the same time, all the attackers. Okay. That's just a that's just a slam on warriors. I there's no need for visual aid there. I don't need extra space. All the attackers despawn and you get the Can you just cut the audio and let the video play so there isn't skips in the animation? Yes, and I will go over that. So Fallon um, I'm going to control Z what I'm about to show you. But right now, you see how when I click on this, it's it does the red highlight on both of these. If I right click this and unlink those clips, I could then click the audio alone and slice only the audio. But by default, when you like I could I could do this and then it's just there's a, a mute space. But by default, when you throw something in here, it'll have it linked together. But you can undo that. All right. You spawn and you get the loot. If you're worse, oh, I gotta link these back together. Okay, but yeah, we will be doing some of that. We will be cleaning up Time some of these transitions. All the attackers, like right there, like right there. There's like a little stutter. All the attackers despawn. Like we're gonna fix that loot. If your worst DPS with the burning underpants didn't screw up, place the brazier here to get extra. Tra now, here I said brazier instead of brazier on purpose for laughs but then i doubted myself and i wasn't sure if i said it the way i wanted to say it so y there was like a weird stutter you can also jump like right there was me doubting myself if you're worst you okay so if you're worst if you're wor if you're worst okay great so i restarted this whole section so we're just going to scrap that whole section and back it up get the loot if your worst dps with the burning underpants didn't screw up place the brazier here to get extra treasure you can also okay there was a big inhale there i like to get rid of that that's dead space you can also jump shroom up and glide to a second bonus chest then glide out and under the original balcony for a third bonus chest use slash gg to kill yourself to return to the group now you know how to get spooky you're welcome click these links okay so we've now got the guide for most of this okay however of course the video for this whole guide i'm hitting the home key to go back to the beginning the video for the whole guide is just the guy talking i'm not showing any of it we've got to fix that now what what do we have left to do here i'm going to add some music behind it to keep it like kind of interesting i'm going to put my outro on the end of it uh you said spirit run two times i did say it two times um so what I'm going to take the suggestion someone in chat made, which was that, uh, you know, just say like also known as Spirit Woods. So we've got a lot to do now because when you click on a section, you can cut the whole thing. I find it easiest to add the music last because if I put it there, I have to constantly work around it sitting there. So I'll do that last. and We'll talk about that later. So muckle up here and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit stories kids because you're in spirit all right so up here at the top left there's a thing called the effects library there's a lot of handy stuff in here um under the title section there is what i've only used one of these there's a thing called text you can just drag this down here and it's got some stuff there uh aka spirit woods okay and i often use this guy and so we've got this text on the screen. Now, this is kind of boring right now. Stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Boom. Now let's get to the point. Just Spirit Run is a gauntlet sits style right there that like counts that. as the second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a couple of things to make the text more interesting. One, I could click on this right here, and it toggles basically the transformation tool. It lets you move it around. Um, I think it looks nice in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, a couple of other things I'm going to do is there is a thing, if you go to uh, Video... You can add dynamic zooming, which I'm a fan of. By Spirit default, is it will zoom smaller. Uh, I like to swap it so it zooms from small run. to large. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet style event that But it gets too large for it. You see right there near the end, it's getting too large. So I'm going to zoom it down a little bit. Loss of Raid Wing 1. Okay. But then it abruptly wing disappears. One. I think that looks sloppy. 
So we're gonna zoom in a bit more. And by the way, you can move any of this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna move this a bit so I can see the text row a little better. So there is video and audio transitions that look really nice. I'm a fan of using cross dissolve when I want it to be really soft and I don't want you to notice what's happening. I'm going to show you an example of that. Kids, because you're in spirit run. Now let's you see, see how it just kind of faded in? And then blur dissolve when I want to get your attention. So watch this. Believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet style event that counts as the second boss of Raid Wing. Okay, so now we've got that looking really schmexy. Now, what I'm going to do now is I want it to pop a little more. And the best way I've found for that is to go here to the drop shadow. There's actually black letters behind the white letters you can't see. But if you offset them just slightly, it makes it pop a bit more because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet style event that counts as the second boss of Raid Wing 1. All right. So there that we've addressed the fact that I called it the wrong thing by and without having to add too much additional work. Not too bad. Um, do you need an all right graphics card at minimum to render properly and resolve? I'm afraid I don't know an answer to that. I, I, I've only worked on my own machine. Um, okay. So here, the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet style event that counts. Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet. Style was point. there a stutter? Spirit, there, point. There, Spirit. There was a really small stutter there. So let me show you one of the things we can do about that. Did I ever change camera angles in this stretch here? No, I didn't. So what I can do is right click and unlink this. All right. I'm basically taking the first clip and stretching it out to overwrite the second clip. Okay, Ooh, I, I misclicked there. So now let's watch it. Muck a look here and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit oh, Run is a gauntlet style event that counts arrival. as the second boss of Raid. So the video is constant now. Essentially, this right here is video from a section I deleted earlier, and it's just gonna keep going. And you could do that with the audio too. So I just stretched that out and I, you know, I kind of just taped over the other one. Muckle look here and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a go All right, so let's see. Muckle look here and you the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet second boss of Raid Wing 1. This is a gauntlet style. Okay, so we're at the point where we need footage from Spirit Run. So I'm going to open this up. There's so much in here. This is why I'm trying to get an editor, guys. All right, so I'm just gonna throw this in here. So this right here, this is the video that I'm making. This is the monster monster chunk of footage. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unlink it from the audio and delete the audio. We don't need to hear Flute Girl screaming in the middle of this guide. Then I'm going to go to the end of Spirit Run. Okay, there's Gorsival. All right, so then I'm just gonna make a cut and I'm going to throw that section out. Now we've got a lot less to look at, okay? So what am I looking for for the beginning of this? Muckle look here and you best start believing in second boss of Raid Wing. Spirit Run is a gauntlet style event that counts as the- Okay, so I just want something that shows Spirit Run. I'll just get a little bit of action here and I'm just going to actually, I'm gonna make all this raise up one row um, and I'm going to click on this little tiny section I made and hit copy. I'm gonna hit home to go over here to the beginning zoom in a bit, uh, maybe too much, maybe too much, and go here, and I'm gonna paste it. Okay, so we've got this chunk here. Now, let's drag the text up a bit. Kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now, let's get to the point. Spirit Run... All right, I think right there is a good place to have different footage showing. Spirit Run is a gauntlet-style event that counts as the second boss of Raid Wing 1. This sucker is a buy one, get one free, and if you can get past the Veil Guardian, this thing should be free loot, with the exception of one training run I did on EU. Okay, and let's cut back to me. That thought clockwise meant left. All right, so I'm going to make a cut here, and I'm going to zoom in on Muck, who is insulting the European gamers right now. And he's a little low, so I'm going to hit the transform. And I'm going to raise them up a little bit. The thought clockwise meant left. It could be... All right. My voice lined up with his mouth really well there. The thought clockwise meant left. It All right. So for this joke, there's a couple of visual aids I would like. 
So I'm going to go to, let's see, clock, uh, I need a picture of a clock. I need a picture of a clock. I'm going to Google. I'm doing an image search for clock. And I've already got an arrow that I often use. Okay, so I've got an image in here now, right? And I'm just going to drag that image down here. Okay? So I'm just going to set it over here to the side. With the thought clock. With the thought clock. Okay. And as soon as you resize it at all, the background will come into play. Clockwise meant left. It could be, and there's the end of the joke. So the clock will disappear there. Clockwise meant left. It, all right. So clockwise, uh, I'd like an equal sign there. I believe I've got an equal sign in my commonly used folder from another video I did. So we're going to drag this equal sign down here. So I want it to kick in when he says meant. Clockwise meant. It's meant. And you can see right there on the audio where the word meant starts. Okay, so... There we go. So it should say clockwise, meant, and then I want left to be the next thing. So I need another row above this one. So right-click, add track. Meant left. Okay, and I could see from the audio line where the word left starts. Left. So I need an arrow. And... Freaking shallow frags, some souls, all kinds of people in here. Where's my arrow? There's there's the arrow. I, I've used this in so many videos. All right, so I'm just going to throw that there for a second. And we can size it down. And then we're just going to flip this over. All right, let's see what the result is. I thought clockwise meant left. It could be broken now. Could I do more here? Meant left. Yeah, I I could you know take this clock. Um, if I if I wanted to go a bit harder on this, let's open up GIMP. If you don't know what GIMP is, it's basically Photoshop for people that don't want to spend money on Photoshop. It's free Photoshop. Anyone can download this for free. All the tools I'm showing you are for free. So. I'm going to drop that clock image in here. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to try to select the white area outside the clock. And actually, wait, I need to I need to do this on another layer. All right. And da, da, da. Uh, OK, so on this layer, I just made the bottom layer invisible because we want to make a PNG file, not like a JPEG file. So uh, do that. Do that. Okay, so I think this will look a little bit better. And I'm just going to do export this clock3.png. Let's see if it'll do that. And export. Okay. And still got my bumper right where I want it. And let's try that. Fantastic. Okay, so... It, we, we added an extra minute there. And sometimes you have to make a choice. Is spending extra time on this worth it? But here's our result. Training run I did on EU that thought clockwise meant left. It, one training run, run I did on Okay, now when I said EU, I could add something else there for comedy's sake. Let me go back to com, uh, commonly used. I think I've got a picture of Europe. Uh, if I could find it. I thought I had a picture of Europe. Oh, there it is. Found it. Run I did on E. So I'm going to take this and just grab the side of this, shrink it down. Training run I did on EU that thought clockwise meant left. It there we go. So that two seconds of joke, that two seconds of joke took that much time. The exception of one training run I did on EU that thought clockwise meant left. It could be broken down into three mini events. First room you can. Okay, so I'm okay with Muck just talking for this part. It could be broken down into three mini events. Um, maybe, let's see how it looks if I zoom in on him a bit. So he takes up a little bit more of the frame. It could be broken down into three mini events. First room. All right, so right here, I want to start with footage of the first room. So I'm going to zoom out. Let's, let's just grab all this and move it a bit closer so I don't have to stretch as far. All right, first room. Let's start with this. Let's let's zoom in a lot. 
and we're going to slice off a small chunk of this. So we're going to grab the slice. Remember, we could stretch it out to be what the original was. It's like, here's the little slice I took, but I could stretch it out and it will grab. Uh, oh, hold on. We can make it back to what it was before if we need to. All right, three mini events. First room, you catch deadly orbs of energy with your head. This is 100% safe and OSHA approved. They will spawn in any of these five Approved. They will spawn in any of these five. Okay, so right here, five points. Throw raid markers down like this and yell at people to. Okay, they will. Five points. Throw if an OSHA approved. They will. I want to be able to see the audio. It scrolled down a little bit. Will spawn in. So from they will spawn. I want this to start right here. They will spawn in any of these five points. Throw raid markers down like this. Like. Okay, when he says like this. What I would like to do is zoom in dramatically on the minimap. So now we've got this. So at this point, we have given them information where it shows the room and it shows here. They will spawn in any of these five points, throw raid markers down like this and yell at people to run. Okay, but I could go a bit harder here. And also first room, you catch deadly orbs of energy with your head. I need footage of catching deadly orbs of energy with my head. So, okay, right here. So let's just make a little slice here. Go back here. First room, you first room you catch deadly orbs of energy with your head. This is one one hundred percent safe and OSHA approved. Okay, for that joke, I would like to get uh, ideally a picture of an OSHA guy doing like a thumbs up or something. <laughs> Uh, maybe if I took the word screeching out and just used the rest of it. I mean, this is very clearly a meme someone made. Yeah, no, you're right about the stock photos. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it out. So, let's get rid of the background. And zoom in a bit. Nope. And get rid of this stuff. And delete. Okay. So then we got this guy. Then we got then we got this guy here. Now we could continue to hack some of this out. There we go. So then we got this guy. Very clearly made to just insult people. Uh, so let's do this and file export as OSHA PNG and try this out. And again, this is going to flash on the screen for like 1.5 seconds for a joke. But obviously, yes, you do want to be safe. Use whatever you think is safe. Okay, so at this point, we've got our OSHA guy. Deadly orbs of energy with your head. This is 100% safe and Right there. OSHA approved. They will spawn in. There we go. So that's the joke. Of energy with your head. This is 100% safe and OSHA approved. They will spawn in any of these okay. five points. Throw raid markers. Now, where he says they spawn in any of these five points, we could make that a whole lot more visible. And I'm going to show you how. So first, I need to see. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get this out of the way for a sec. They will spawn in any of these five points. Throw raid markers. Okay, so points throw raid mark right where the camera starts to move is where I want the arrow to end. So we've got one point. And now if you this one I just learned recently, chat, this one's awesome. Hold alt, left click on something, and drag out, it makes a copy. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and I'm gonna rotate the arrow like that, and then alt and up again. And we've got another copy here. And we will rotate the arrow further and point at the blue one. Alt up again. And point toward the... Gr uh, let's move it over here, actually. And rotate it back to look at the green one. And... We got another copy here. Whoa. Hold mm. on. There we go. A new arrival. And one here. So point at the blue one. Now, 
So at this point, it looks like this. Percent safe and OSHA approved. They will spawn in any of these five points. Now, I, I like having the arrows appear one by one. So what I'm going to do is mouse cur... Uh, I'll just two frames, pull that over. One, two... Ah, oh, shoot. I need to zoom in more. This is too delicate. One, two. Do that. And wheel up a little bit. One, two. And pull that in. And one, two. And pull that in. So now... They will spawn in any of these... Do you see how they all appear? Like, do, 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 do. They will spawn in and it's more eye-catching. Because our vision's based on movement. They will spawn in any of these five... Approved. They will spawn in any of these five points. Throw raid markers down like this and yell at people to run into the orbs in the order that they spawn. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, chat, because this is a short video, we're like a third of the way done. Um, yeah, we're at your right. You are. You are, actually. Priority number one is stand in the correct spot. Priority number two is kill mobs while standing in the correct spot. That. Okay, so... I'm kind of torn on this part. Should I just have Muck talking? Or should I be showing people in the... Probably show people in the circles. So, where is some good footage of that? All right, this is this is pretty good. So here's us running to the correct spot. So we're gonna take a slice out of that and go back here. Priority number one is stand in the. Priority number one is stand in the correct spot. Priority number. Two... Priority number one is. All right, let's zoom in. Stand in the correct spot. Priority number two is kill mobs while standing in the correct spot. Perfect. That's it. Do this enough time. Standing in the correct spot. Now, for that's it, I want to super zoom in on Muck. Looking very disappointed with you. Rex spot. That's it. Do this enough times and the room is beaten. Clear the next room. Okay, so let's get footage of when the event ended. So we're looking for when we finished it. I'm looking at the progress bar in the top right corner, right there. That's where it is. Okay, so we've got another slice here. Home button to go back here. That's it. Do this enough. We've got Do this, this enough times and the room is beaten. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Tell your. All right, that wasn't precise enough. So I'm going to stretch Clear that out. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Tell your worst DPS to grab the. Okay, so I'm going to do this. So I'm going to say, do this enough times, do that, and then I'm going to make a cut, and then I'm going to zoom in up here a little bit, and going to, you know what, I could just grab this arrow from a minute ago, and tap, tap, and we're going to make this arrow a little more eye-catching, and we're going to rotate it and point up here. And the room is beaten. Clear the next. Okay. And there we go. So that's that topic there. That's it. Do this enough times and the room is beaten. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a beaten. Clear the next. Okay. So where you start saying clear the next room, I am going to get footage of the next room. So we're going to jump back here. Oh, too far, too far. All right, we're gonna get a little. Uh, we're gonna get a little slice right here, and go back. Now, while you're running this program, it is looking at all the files and their locations. If I were to move any of those files or change the names of them, this would not work anymore. So you don't want to move anything once you get started. Not really trying. Beaten. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Tell your worst DPS to... Okay, so I said clear the next room and just moved on. To grab so, the brazier because that person has lost... What I'm going to do... Delete that. Is I'm going to play this really fast. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Tell your... All right. So control R gives you speed settings. Let's try this on 400 and see what happens. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Stretch it out more. 
Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Tell your worst DPS to grab the gate opens to a balcony. Tell your worst DPS to grab the uh, okay, so I want to show the brazier here. So I'm going to just grab brazier because that person has lost weapon. Hmm. What is this? <laughs> I have no idea what I was talking about there. Oh my gosh. Lost their weapon privileges. Note, I learned today that it's brazier and not underpants the more you know the next section deer is flaming underpants the more you okay so i'm gonna take this part here clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony tell your room and a gate open we're gonna take an arrow and we're going to point it up toward the balcony Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Tell your worst DPS to grab... Alright, so now, where he says, take your worst DPS, I need to get footage of Flute Girl picking up the torch. So, let's go back here. Wait, too far, too far. Right there. Perfect. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to zoom in here, and we're going to paste this. You tell your worst DPS to grab the brazier because that person has lost their weapon privileges. Okay. So, not quite lined up where I'd like it to be. You tell your worst DPS to grab the brazier because that person has lost their weapon privileges. Perfect. So the brazier disappears right at the end of that. Do this enough times and the room is beaten. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Tell your worst DPS to grab the brazier because that person has lost their weapon privileges. Note, I learned today that it's brazier. I learned today that it's brazier. Okay, so for this joke, I need <laughs> I need a picture of a brazier, a brazier, and fire to put behind the brazier for the burning underpants joke. Also... You know the the more you know with the shooting star? I want I want that. So let me go over here. Alright, and just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh you know what? Let's actually do where's the search by color? Select by color. There we go. Alright. File export as and fire is there a giveaway today there already was i'm afraid it is already over but there will be there's one on steam exclamation steam and the steam group we're giving away a twilight and on uh next tuesday we're celebrating my 900th daily stream in a row and there will be an eternity giveaway among a bunch of other stuff okay so we've got those image files note i learned today that it's bra brazier it's bra Okay, so right there. Brazier and not brazier and not brazier. Okay, so where he says not, I've got a no sign. We're going to put that there. I learned today that it's brazier and not Not Brazil. Not Brazil. Okay. And he says Brazil. I've got this lady. And what I'm going to do here is use the crop tool. We're going to crop the left and the right and the bottom and the top but we're i'm gonna purposefully leave enough that you could tell it's from guild wars 2. um i need to move this up and have her appear under this note i learned today that it's brazier and not brazier apparently a burning brazier a burning brazier apparently a brazier apparently a burning okay so right there Gonna do that. Burning Brazil. Burning Brazil. 
And then I'm going to copy her up. It'll be a second one. Hmm, that doesn't really... Hold on, If does it look better if I lift the fire up? All right, let's see what the result is. I learned today that it's brazier and not brazier. Apparently a burning brazier is flaming underpants. The more you've... Perfect. That, that's fine. That's fine. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, underpants. The... Okay, so I'm going to make all of this end at that moment. Okay, so save and play it. ...and has lost their weapon privileges. Note, I learned today that it's brazier and not brazier. Apparently a burning brazier is flaming underpants. The more you... F okay, when he says the more you freaking know... Um... Where is the the more you know thing from like 20 years ago? Da Vinci Resolve really doesn't like GIFs that much. I, if I use a GIF, I would have to convert it to something else. So what I'm going to do is just take a still image of more you know and put it here. And we're going to make this look super tacky on purpose. So what I'm going to do is do... Rotation, and I'm going to start it here, and I'm going to do a anchor point and an anchor point, and then I'm going to, oh, hold on a sec, and then we'll say like in the middle, it will be here, and it'll rotate about this much. And then one frame from the end, it will be off screen and it will have rotated again. Now, let's see what that looks like. Brazier and not brazier. Apparently a burning brazier is flaming underpants. The more you freaking know. The next section you run from- So, it looks tacky. The more you freaking know. And it looks like I meant for it to look tacky, right? The more you freaking know. The next section you run- so there we go. That's we've done that. Happy with that. So at this point, chat, we're almost halfway through this. The next section you run from a wall of death coming behind you. Eight people in your race. All right. So I don't immediately have a joke idea for a wall of death. And it, my fallback, if I can't think of something funny, is we just have Mukluk talking and gesturing, and that's it. So I could just put footage of us running there. Attack on Titan Giant Wall. That's not bad. San Diego. Uh, attack on Titan Wall. The next section you run from a wall. All of death. All of death. All of death. Death coming behind you. Eight. Death coming behind you. Okay. Shrink that down. Shrink that down. All of death. All right. So hold on. This guy. We need him to be smaller to appreciate the last image. And this guy is going to be like this. All of death coming behind. You. The next section you run from a wall of death coming behind you. Eight people in your ring. Okay. There we go. There you go. So uh, we got a little one and a half second long joke there. Now I need footage of the thing that we're talking about. So let's go over here to our raw footage. So we've got this section here. And we're just going to take this chunk. And we're going to go back here. A circle, which is way off. Eight people in your raid. If you have two healers, then everyone else run through the circle. All right, I need to speed this up. Control R. And change speed to 200%. Let's see what this looks like. Eight people in your raid. If you have two healers, then everyone else run through the circle. So they capture part way. Then continue on ahead and attack the wall. Heal. Continue on ahead and attack the wall. Heal. Let's just use the footage this whole bit and see what happens. Healers lag behind and finish capturing every circle. Make sure you glide at the drop and make sure you don't neglect the last. Okay. Make sure you glide. You make sure you. Okay, so the drop. So I'm going to make a cut there. 
sure you don't neglect way off to the road. The drop is coming up, so I'm just going to do da 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 and don't neglect the last circle, which is way off to the left. When I'm just continuing to, to look for that right. drop. Once past the final wall, the last challenge appears. Okay. Okay. Bring every circle. Make sure you glide at the drop and make sure you don't neglect the last circle. Drop and make sure you don't neglect the last. Okay. So now we're going to talk about neglecting the last circle. The last circle, which is way off to the left when the road turns to the mm. right. Once past. New arrival. Welcome, new arrival. The last challenge appears standing. All right. So let's the look last at this circle, which is way off to the left when the road turns to the right. Once past. All right. So for this, I need to slow it back down. Uh, I need to move it because when I slow it, it's going to be double the length. All right. Left when the road turns to the right. The last challenge appears. Stands past the final wall. The last. Okay. And I know when we recorded this that we all white after this, and I don't want to show that. The last circle, which is way off to the left, way off to the left. Okay, so what I want to do now is reuse that arrow from earlier. So I'm going to hold Alt, left click to make a copy of this, and I'm going to use my arrow pointer to briefly point at this circle. Left when the road turns to the right. Now, left when the road. Okay. Road turns. When I turn the camera, it no longer makes sense for that to follow. So this is this part is a thing. So I'm going to hit position. And I've got to do this frame by frame. Why does it keep going back? I don't know why it keeps skipping back to this part. I'm tapping the right key to move frame by frame. Okay, hold on. Let's just redo this. I don't know what's going on here. All right. Left when the road turns to the right. Okay, that's acceptable. I, it was being really finicky with me there, but you get what I'm saying. So any when you hit this button here, you basically tell it to if I move it at a certain point, have it accommodate that. Left when the road turns to. So now when I turn to the right abruptly, the the the, the arrow goes off to the left. It gives the illusion that the arrow was you know mounted pointing at that thing. Okay, so we're gonna save. And let's replay the last few seconds. You don't neglect the last circle, which is way off to the left when the road turns to the right. Once past the final wall, the... Okay. Past the final... Once past... All right, so we're talking about a new thing here. Once past the final wall, the... So let's cut this out and scrap that. Once past the final wall, the last challenge appears, standing on five squares. <gasps> Okay, so I mentioned earlier I would like to get an audience gasp soundbite. Uh, let's see. That sounds better. Okay, so this right here, uh, this right here, it, I'm just confirming that this is free to use, and I'll have to delete this VOD later. Yes, free to use for everything. Fantastic. So... We'll gasp for you in Discord. As long as you've got permission, there's a lovely program called Video Downloader. I have hit, gone to YouTube, and I've copied the URL, and I've just hit paste right here. And I'm just downloading that video. That's all this is. Okay. Show me where it downloaded. And... Despite the fact that it's just audio, it's going to have video too, so I'm going to drop it over here. And, oh shoot, come on. All right, move it, and then we're going to zoom in on it here. 
Okay, so we got a couple things to do here. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, zoom in. And we don't need the video, which is like a red curtain. <gasps> All right, great. So we're gonna cut that. And we're gonna go back here. Actually, it might be too large for that. So I'm going to shrink it down a bit. And try to paste it in that spot. Great, okay. And then stretch it back out. Five squares. <gasps> the first button is on the ground. Okay, so we've got a little bit of dead space here. I'm gonna delete it and it's going to destroy the sections of clips above and below that, but I'm okay with that. Oh, 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 that was a mistake, hold on. So right there, the uh, linked audio from my gasp overwrote that one. So I'm gonna unlink that and then drop this back down. <gasps> the first Muck, please teach me to make videos. I'm trying, dude, pay attention, take your seat. Right. Once past the final wall, the last challenge appears, standing on five squares. <gasps> the first button is on the ground here. Okay. Squares. <gasps> the first button is- I don't like that abrupt jerk watch this the first button is actually it doesn't really matter because i'm gonna put footage of the squares there so let's go back over to my raw footage and we're looking for this is after flute killed us all all right here's the room with the buttons okay so we're gonna we're gonna grab a slice of this once past the final wall, the last challenge appears, standing on five squares. <gasps> the first button is- All right, so we're gonna paste that here. The first button is on the ground here, to the right of the stage. All right, so I gotta find footage of what I'm talking about and sync it up. Okay. Uh, let's do, let's do a couple things here. Standing on five squares. <gasps> okay, let's do... I got a couple of ideas here. I want to try something. I'm going to speed up this clip and then make it longer. But it has to end right there. Standing on five squares. <gasps> All right, so what we have now five is I speed squid. into the room. Because they need to not be confused Once that I skipped a the bunch. Once past the final wall, the last challenge appears, standing on five squares. <gasps> the first button. Okay. The, fir the first button is right there in the video. So I'm going to take an arrow. First button. And it's going to have to be one of those annoying ones that moves. So I'm going to tell it, reset your position, reset your rotation angle. You're going to be right there. First button is on the ground here to the right of the stairs. The first button is on the ground here to the right of the stairs. Okay. It's going to fade out there. All right. So now comes the part that's kind of finicky. Uh, I'm going to do lock in position. Next frame is fine. Next frame, adjust. Next frame, adjust. Next frame. Why does it keep going back? It literally keep. Hold on. I'm gonna save my project. I'm gonna completely close Resolve and I'm gonna reopen it. I've not actually seen it do this before today. So we're gonna see if uh, turning it off and on again is gonna help. I'm liking the asthmatic choir. Nice. All right, so we're gonna relaunch this and see if that helps. Mm, a new arrival. Welcome to arrival, hello. But, uh, hopefully you guys are kind of getting an idea of how long this takes so far. Like, this is a two-minute video. And we've been working on this since hour, hour and a half ago? Now, granted, not everyone puts as many jokes and memes and stuff in their videos as, as I do. Um, some put more. Some put even more effort than I do. Uh, but you, you get a general idea of this. Alright, so I'm going to reopen my last project, which is Spirit Run. Ah, blinding. All right, so we were around here, so we're going to zoom in. 
The first button is on the ground here to the We need to go up a little bit. First button is All right. And I'm just going to reset this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try Let's try adding a fade out right there and see how that looks. The first button is on the ground here to the right of the stairs. The second button is up the stairs then straight across. That's not bad. Up the stairs then straight Okay, so where I said up the stairs then straight across, let's get another arrow. We're gonna reset this parameter so it doesn't do that movement that we just set up. And we're going to rotate it to point like right here where this, this guy is. And let's see what this does before I change anything. Cross. The third and fourth. Cross. The third and fourth button. All right, so I don't like how long that space is right here that I did when I was uh, recording. So I'm going to cut this out and cut that out. And let's see what the result of that is. Great across. The third and fourth buttons are across the jumping puzzle. Okay, so I need to speed up the footage for the jumping puzzle. So let's do control R and let's make it like 150. The third and fourth buttons are across the jumping puzzle. Need to stretch out the clip or across the jumping puzzle. One. Okay, so let's just stretch the clip out quite a bit. One requires a good jump. Okay, a good jump. Right where he says a good jumper, I want to have an arrow. Jumper, the other a mediocre the other a, the other a mediocre jumper so we'll put this one right here and let's change the rotation a bit so they don't look completely the same all right let's see what that looks like fires a good jumper the other a mediocre jumper the final button is across okay looking good looking good and I stretch that out and I'm gonna make a cut right there uh, right where he says, like, well, you know, pass me. The final button is across the room and th through a small hallway. Okay, so I gotta it's slow it down. The room and so right here, I made a mistake. On left side. One I forgot the reason I was doing Spirit Run Chat. I filmed, I saw that someone else went for that button, and I was like, oh, they've got it. And, it and I didn't go film it. So what I'm gonna do... The final button is... Is, first off, we're gonna slow this back down across the room and through and then I'm going to slow it way down through a small hallway on the left side okay and then I'm going to copy an arrow all hallway on the left left side. Once all of them are pressed simultaneously, for you warriors that means all at the same time. All <laughs> Uh now there where I say for you warriors. I wish I could get like a really derpy looking warrior image for that joke. Uh I'm just going to type in derpy warrior in Google and see what comes up. Once all of them are pressed simultaneously, for you warriors for you warriors that means all So we'll do like this. And I think I've got a warrior icon from a previous project I did. Uh, so let's see. Where is it? Perf. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's all coming together. Hold on a sec. Let's do reset, reset. For you warriors, that means all at the same time. All the brilliant. That'll do. For you warriors, I'd like some slight movement in this. Hold on, let me do dynamic zoom reverses. That means all at the. Hang on a sec. Let's try this. For you warriors, that means all at the same time. All the attackers despawn. That'll do. That'll do. Get... For you warriorsly. For you warriors, that means all at the same time. All the attackers <laughs> That's despawn, fine. and you get the loot. If All right, so right there, I'd like to get footage of us receiving the loot. So, let's see. Where's the la- right there. So it should be around here. 
So here's the fight, 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 fight. Uh, hitting the buttons. And... Oh, just missed it. Right there. Okay, so here's where we got the loot. Uh, hating on the warrior. That's where they, they might have got a bit. They might have. They might have. All right, so we're going to go back to home. Uh, I actually, or the original script said Norns, but I realized I bashed Norns in two videos already. All the attackers... Stretch this out. All the attackers despawn, and you get the loot. If your worst DPS with the burning underpants didn't screw up... <laughs> All right. So... If your worst DPS with the burning underpants... We're going to talk about the Brazier Pants now. Didn't... You can also jump Shroom up and glide to a second bonus chest, then glide out. I'm just trying to find the... F We're and not paying attention to the audio right now. I'm looking for the footage of the Brazier. So let's take this and speed this up a lot and see what that does. If your worst DPS with the burning underpants didn't screw up, place the Brazier here to get extra... Screw up, place the... And I'm going to do a cross dissolve there so it looks a little nicer. If your worst DPS with the burning underpants didn't screw up, place the brazier here to get extra... If your worst DPS with the... Okay, so where he says burning underpants, I'm going to copy paste the joke from earlier. So I'm going to do... Let's do... Just go up, 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 up. I'm going to select these two and alt left click to drag them over. I'm going to have to make some uh, minor adjustments. Burning underpants didn't screw up. EPS with the burning underpants didn't screw up. Place the brazier here to pants didn't screw up. Pla okay, so I'm gonna do that. Place the brazier here to get here to get extra treasure. You can okay here to now. I'm kind of torn. I, I part of me wants to put the burning underpants on the brazier, but I did. I just used them for the second time. So I'm going to resist that because I don't want to overuse the same joke. And instead, I think I'm going to go with an arrow for that one. So let me go back here and let's do this. Brazier here to get here. To... All right. This is going to take a little bit of effort here. Dude, I don't. I don't know why it keeps um, doing this. Extra. It's like I I tell it to do a little movement, and I'm showing you guys this how I normally do it, but it's being really fickle. Like the second I left click and drag on this. It's rewinding. And I don't know why. It's kind of pissing me off. All right. Let's do position. Let's see what that does. Here to get extra treasure. You can also jump sh to get extra. I wish I had not moved my character so much there. Here to get extra treasure. You can also jump shroom. Up. Uh, I think that's called streamer luck. Maybe. You can also jump shroom up and glide to a. You can also jump shroom. All right, where he says jump shroom, I want to show that. You can also jump shroom up and glide to a second bonus chest. Then so I need to find then the footage of us doing that. The original balcony for a third bonus. Extra treasure. You can also jump shroom up and glide to a second. I was thinking about showing the spot where the treasure chest would appear and having the Dinkleberg, like if I had one, show up there, but it just doesn't really fit in well right now. Second bonus chest, then glide out and under the original balcony for a third bonus chest. You slap. We're ignoring the audio right now. I'm just, I muted the audio. I'm just looking for the part where I get on the jumping mushroom. Okay, there it is. So we're gonna do that. You can also jump. 
Okay, so that was, uh, we're gonna do a little uh, crossfade there. To get extra treasure. You can also jump shroom up and glide to a second bonus chest, then glide out. All right, perfect. So we're going to speed this up a lot and see what that does. You can also jump shroom up and glide to a second bonus chest, then glide out and under the original balcony for a third bonus chest. Out and under the original balcony for a third bonus chest. Use slash GG to kill yourself to return to the group. Now, now you know how to get spooky. You're welcome. Click these links. Okay. So, at this point, and if you haven't realized it already, you end up re-watching the video you're editing like a thousand times by the time you're done. We're almost done, chat. We're almost done. So, we... There's a few things I want to do here. Now you know how to get spooky. Where I said, was this just the gasp? Yeah, okay, we can delete that. When I said, now you know how to get spooky. Okay, so I'm done with all this stuff. I think I'm done with it. I'm gonna move it over here. When I said, now you know how to get spooky? Do you remember when I did the recording of my necromancer standing there with his phantom hood earlier? Uh, so here's the footage of that. And I'm going to unlink it from this audio, and I'm just going to scrap the audio. I don't need that. Now, I'm about to show you a, something I did once that I've only done on one other video. And it was a very long time ago. Will there be a guide on this on your YouTube? Yeah, but it will take a, a while for it to come out. But yes, it, like it might be a week. Now you know how to get spooked. Okay, so the important part here is I want Muck to flicker between spooky muck and normal muck for this part. So, let's see. Now you know how to get s Okay. So there's that. And what I'm gonna do... Oh. Okay, I accidentally sliced through every line. If you don't have something selected, you cut through everything. Here's an example. Cut. Oh crap. I can hit Control Z or Alt backslash to undo that. All right, let's try my first idea, which is take out every other frame. It's spooky. You're All right. Now you know how to get spooky. You're welcome. Click these links. All right. So here's the end result of that. Yourself to return to the group. Now you know how to get spooky. You're welcome. Click these links. Seizure warning. Yeah, we're not trying to give people seizures. So maybe what I did, we should make it two frames. Uh, I did it as one frame. So let's do that, 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 and that. Let's see what this does. How to get spooky. You're welcome. Click. Okay, the that's a little less seizure inducing, I hope. Now you know how to get spooky. You're welcome. Click these links. Okay, so now we got that. Now, he said click these links. It didn't show any freaking links, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a little lazy here, chat. I am going to go to the last video I made, which was Veil Guardian. Here's the Veil Guardian is, complete guide. It is immune to power and the edge of the screen. Okay. And at the end of that video, I said to click these links. Boat, then you're going to have a bad time. Now you know how Americans eat their pizza. You're welcome. Click these links. Right there. So, first of all, unlink, uh, get rid of the audio. That's the first frame with the links. That's the last frame with the links. Okay, we're going to cut that. And we're going to paste that here. And we're going to go up a little bit. And we're going to find out where I said, click these links. You're welcome. Welcome. Click these. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop the previous video.
And it looks like I filmed this again. You're welcome. Click these links. There we go. Uh, fun fact, I've been reusing this same footage for like the last six videos. All right, so we're gonna save that. Now, in my commonly used folder, here's my outro. I made this quite some time ago. It is copyright free music combined with my editing many of you, my ending many of you have seen before. Okay. Now, I always like to add a zoom out. What's up, Frats Cat? So it's doing a slow zoom out for the outro. And I like to do slow zoom ins for the intro, just to kind of show what's going on. Now, a couple things here. One, the music is way too quiet. You're welcome. Click these links. All right. Now, let's add a transition. Let's add an audio fade in. Click these links. Okay, so it's a little less jarring, and I like to do a fade out on... Oh, little misclick there. I like to do a fade out on the end as well. And let's go to video transitions and do cross dissolve in, cross dissolve out. Did I lose my... I think I lost my audio fade in. Okay, save, and let's see what this does. Now you know how to get spooky. You're welcome. Click these links. Okay. And then it does a fade to black. And for you would-be YouTubers, the reason this is 20 seconds long is it's the last 20 seconds of a video that you've got the little, like, you know, see next video, stuff like that. Okay. Now. <sighs> it's been a long ride, chat. We're nearly there. At the beginning, I like to add a fade in from black. That's the same cross dissolve, but there's just no tile in front of it. So it goes from black. Muckalick here, and you best start believing in ghost stories. All right. Ghost stories, kids, because you're in spirit run. Now let's get to the start believing in ghost. Now, when I said you best start believing in ghost stories, I wanted to have those of you that have seen Pirates of the Caribbeans. You best start believing in ghost stories, Missy, because you're in one. But I'm terrified of Disney, so I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do instead... Muckle look here, and you best start... Perfect Pirates of the Caribbean joke, but I'm scared of Disney. Okay. Start believing in ghost stories, kids, because... All right, that's way too large for that box. So it's going to be like a little Easter egg. Muckle look here. And you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run. Run. Now let's get... You know what? Right there where he says, now let's get to the point. I want it to zoom in on him. Muckle look here. And you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run. Okay. So. Oh my gosh. That room is done. Now. We need an audio line that has nothing on it. So I'm adding another track, which is just an empty line. Now for almost all of my videos, I'm using uh, the music Racing Beatles. Now, first off, as an arena net partner, I have permission from Guild Wars 2 to use their music for any Guild Wars 2 content. If it's you, Make sure it's copyright free. The music I use in my outro is copyright free. There's tons of copyright free stuff. DMCA is the, being the hardest it's ever been. You should be terrified of the music industry. Don't chance it. Don't chance it. All right, so here's Racing Beatles. This is in the back. You're going to recognize it when you hear it. Muckalick here, and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet style event. That now, that's way too loud. I want Racing Beetles to be kind of a soft background thing just to kind of keep the blood pumping. Muckalick here, and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet-style event that counts as the second boss of Raid Wing 1. This sucker is a... Change it changes the mood of the video completely.
buy one, get one free, and if you can get past the Veil Guardian, this thing should be free loot, with the exception of one training run I did on EU that thought clockwise meant left. It can be broken down into three mini events. First room, you catch deadly orbs of energy with your head. This is 100% safe and OSHA approved. They will spawn in any of these five. All right, so I need, if we're gonna go over here, the music ends before Second it's over. Is up the stairs. So I'm gonna cut this off and just copy paste it again. And here, I'm gonna cut this. I'm going to, I need to look at the audio track, so we're gonna move this up. I'm gonna unlink these two. All right, and save. Spooky, you're welcome. Click these links. All right, there we go. Come on. There's like a sweet spot I have to drop it. Muckle look here and you Muckle look here and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet style event that counts. I'm tempted to put the, the stories spooky kids, muck at the beginning, but maybe I should save that for the end. Muckle look here and you best start believing in ghost. Okay, at this point, guys, I think I'm done. So at this point, what we're about to do is watch it from start to finish. And we're gonna have to do this twice. We're gonna watch it start to finish and look for mistakes or things to improve. So I'm saving it, and here we go. Muckle look here, and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet-style event that counts as the second boss of Raid Wing 1. This sucker is a bot. I can't hear the background music. I think I've turned it too low. Let's do... Let's turn it up to minus... 15 and see what that does Michael look here and you best start believing in ghost stories kids because you're in spirit run now let's get to the point spirit run is a gauntlet style event that counts as the second boss of raid wing one this sucker is a buy one get one free and if you can get past the veil guardian this thing should be free loot with the exception of one training run i did on eu that thought clockwise meant left it can be broken down into three mini events first room you catch deadly orbs of energy with your head this is 100 percent safe and osha approved they will spawn in any of these five points throw raid markers down like this and yell at people to run to the orbs in the order that they spawn. Priority number one is stand in the correct spot. Priority number two is kill mobs while standing in the correct spot. That's it. Do this enough times and the room is beaten. Clear the next room and a gate opens to a balcony. Tell your worst DPS to grab the brazier because that person has lost their weapon privileges. Note, I learned today that it's brazier and not brazier. Apparently a burning brazier is flaming underpants. The more you freaking know. The next section you run from a wall of death coming behind you. Eight people in your raid if you have two healers than everyone else run through the circle so they capture part way then continue on ahead and attack the wall healers lag behind and finish capturing every circle make sure you glide at the drop and make sure you don't neglect the last circle which is way off to the left when the road turns to the right once past the final wall the last challenge appears standing on five squares <gasps> The first button is on the ground here, to the right of the stairs. The second button is up the stairs, then straight across. The third and fourth buttons are across the jumping puzzle. One requires a good jumper, the other a mediocre jumper. The final button is across the room and through a small hallway on the left side. Once all of them are pressed simultaneously, for you warriors that means all at the same time, all the attackers despawn and you get the loot. If your worst DPS with the burning underpants didn't screw up, place the brazier here to get extra treasure. You can also jump shroom up and glide to a second bonus chest, then glide out and under the original balcony for a third bonus chest. Use slash GG to kill yourself to return to the group. Now you know how to get spooky. You're welcome. Click these links. And with that... We've made a ha uh, we've made a guide that I'm pretty happy with. So I'm just gonna wait to make sure this fades out at the end. All right. So the next thing is a is we need to make sure I didn't leave any chunks over here, and I absolutely did. If I rendered this right now, it would be two minutes of of that, then ten minutes of blackness, and then a half hour of flute girl killing us. 
So we got to get rid of all of the stuff I was working on at the end. So, control save. Then we're going to go down here to deliver. What do I want to name this file? This is just the file name, it doesn't matter. GTTP, get to the point, spirit run. Location, browse, I'm going to put it, I've got a, a folder called finished videos. Um, format. I don't know what most of these are. YouTube likes QuickTime. If you leave it on this default thing, a one gig video will come out like a 20 gig video. I, I, don't, I don't know what that does, don't do that. File, how fast do you wanna render it? Now I'm streaming right now. We're gonna to try to render this at 50 speed. Add to queue, save, render. If this starts to lag the stream, please tell me. My old computer could not have possibly rendered this and also streamed at the same time. Now, essentially, up until this second, up until this moment, all of these 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 bits uh, of um, footage, they were still all the separate original files. Like if I was uh, had not hit the render button, and I took the Racing Beatles song and I changed the name of it, all the music in this would disappear. It was like, it literally, it was looking to all, like it basically had eye, like 18 eyes looking at different files when you would play it inside of DaVinci Resolve. When you render it, it's copying all of those pieces and making a new file. So it is not safe to get rid of any of your old stuff until you have rendered the new thing. And it's already almost done. Even at only 50 speed, this is such a short video, guys. This is like a two and a half minute video that we've been working on for almost two hours. This really goes to show you why I'm constantly like, I would love to have an editor because <laughs> you know, like, I like to do this type of stuff, but way longer videos. You know, it's not, not many of my videos are only two and a half minutes. All right. So it says completed up here at the top. So I'm going to right click on this. And I'm going to do open file location. And here's all my finished videos. I'm just going to minimize this. Now, there's two ways I can do this. One is I can watch this now. I, I need to watch it again to see if it's okay. But I'm also going to want to watch it after I upload it to YouTube. So, I'm just going to go ahead and upload it to YouTube. And then we'll watch it there. And that'll be two birds, one stone. Okay? So, here's my YouTube. And I'm going to hit create up here. Upload video. And... Oh, Hold on, little misclick there. Get to the point, spirit run, drag and drop. Now, this no one can see this yet. So I'm just going to leave the name as a placeholder, no thumbnail, just hit next. Yes, I want to monetize it. That means if someone doesn't have an ad blocker on, they'll get an ad. I get a fraction of a penny. And hit next. And they're like, wait a minute, if you want to monetize it, do you have any of these naughty, naughty things in your video? No, I don't. Any Guild Wars 2 video has none of this stuff. Next, and next, and leave it as unlisted save, so no one can see this. Okay, so the upload is already done. I have a fast internet connection, that was a two and a half minute video, it's already done uploading, now YouTube is processing it. Now, while it's processing it, we can't watch it yet. So, what we can do is make our thumbnail. I'm going to go back to GIMP, and I'm going to do File, Open. Um, I've got a folder called GIMP stuff. And you guys are getting some sneak peeks of some of the stuff I've already finished here. Samurog Guide. Okay. Here's the Get to the Point Guide I did for Samurog. Boop. Boop. And boop. Oh, look at that. I'm halfway done with the thumbnail for the new video. Imagine that. All right. Google, uh, let's see, Guild Wars 2 Spirit Woods. I need an image of Spirit Woods. And image search. Spirit Veil Guild Wars 2 Raid from Imager. Um, let's see, there's a lot of options here. And again, as an ANAP partner, and I, I, it's completely okay with them that I use, you know, video and audio of the game for, um, 
for my projects. Uh, this is a really good photo. All right, copy image, and we're gonna make a new layer above the background. And let's shrink it down a little bit. That's a little too much, a little too much. Now, the dimensions of this is 1280 by 720, which is standard for YouTube videos. All right, so there we go. Get to the point, and the question now, should I call it Spirit Woods or Spirit Run? Probably Spirit Woods, I guess. Uh, all right, so do Anchor Layer, and new layer up here, and I'm going to get some text, uh, put this here, and do Spirit woods and size 80 too small 90 too small 100 too much that's pretty good maybe a little whoa there we go okay uh i kind of like that all right and then we'll move this a little bit and then transform and I need another layer under it. This is a trick that I really, really like. I really like this one. Watch this. So I'm going to right click on this one and hit alpha to selection. This selects everything around whatever you've got on that layer. It's the border. Go down a layer. Like we're now on a blank, we're now on the blank layer underneath this. Okay. Grow by 20 pixels, okay? Fill with color. Now look, now we've got that. Now, with the black layer selected, I'm gonna hit select all. And you guys don't have to do this. If you're doing a thumbnail, do whatever you think looks pretty, guys. Like, it's, it's whatever. This is one of my favorite strategies. I'm selecting the entire layer, but this layer only has this on it. And I'm gonna do filter, but I wanna see this for a second, but I'm only selecting the black layer. Blur, Gaussian blur. And it really gives it some pop. And then we've got this. Uh, you know what? I actually want to adjust that a little bit. I'm not happy with that. So let's try that again. There we go. There we go. So we got that. So technically that's two layers. We got that and that. But not only do I have my thumbnail pretty quickly because I saved uh, the Samurai one as all these different layers. So I already had half of it done. Which version of GIMP is this? Uh, does it say? Two point ten What is the photo editor? It's called GIMP. G I M P. You can download it, come you know, completely for free. Uh, all the software I've used tonight is is free to use. Uh, let's see, with eraser, maybe remove the part P and W is overlapping in the background. Oh, the, the black part? That's fine. Uh, that's, that's totally okay. It's just, it's just like some of the outline. Again, it's just to make sure, if you have, a uh, fun fact, if you have white with a, a white letter with a black outline, you can read it on any color in the world. You can literally have, like, a rainbow of colors, like, just li a, like a literal, like, rainbow waterfall, and have white text with a black outline over the top of it, and you can read it, the whole thing. Are you hopping onto Guild Wars after this? Maybe, if I, if I have some time left over. I had no idea how long this would take. One, because I had never done video editing on stream. Two, I didn't know how long my project would take. And three, I didn't know how many questions people would have. But at this point, we've got this. Now, I'm still in the Samurai file, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Save As... In my GIMP folder, I'm going to save it as Spirit Woods. And then export to my thumbnails folder as spiritwoods.png. 
and export. Okay, and we're just gonna minimize that. So let's go back to the YouTube. All right, so we've got, I'm gonna refresh this page. And this has a lot of videos you, you'll see here that have not been released to the public yet. All right, get to the point, Spirit Run. We, we got some work to do here. Actually, I'm gonna open multiple tabs here. Uh, let me open my previous, I'm gonna shrink this down a little cause it's like blindingly uh, white. I don't, I don't know that there's a, I have YouTube in dark mode, but the YouTube um, Creator Studio doesn't have a dark mode, I don't think. Okay, let me get to the point of the old guardian, perfect. So I wanna keep the same thing I've got going here. So I'm gonna copy this and go to here and just paste that and just do a spirit run or spirit uh, woods guide for Guild Wars 2. Okay, so that's there and upload thumbnail, spirit woods, okay, uh, tags. Let's go to my this guide, and I'm gonna copy all the tags. And this just helps your thing come up when other people search for it. So we're gonna remove Veil Guardian, and we're gonna add Spirit Woods, Spirit Run. And there's probably some more I could add here, but this is what I've got so far. Uh, so we've got that. And then I'm gonna have to stretch this out. All right, end screen. This is at the end of the video. Uh, I've got a template here that I saved, but it basically goes um, the subscribe the subscribe button pops up, and then the most recent upload video shows up. The best video recommended for v the viewer by the algorithm shows up, which could be anything of mine, and a link to my Patreon. So with this, if we back it up. Also, I've got it, th this was by Fluke, not on purpose, but they pop with the beat of the song, and I love that. I, it's a small thing, but I dig it. Did you add Spirit Veil as the name of the full wing? Uh, I don't think I did. So we're gonna save this, and let's see, Spirit Veil, Pre Gorsival, before Gorsival, after Veil Guardian. You know, uh, if that's the thing though, hang on. Uh, Spirit Veil, we'll add that to the Veil Guardian video as well. All right. So we've got that. And now under more options, there's uh, what game is this referring to? Guild Wars 2. And that will help with the search results. Uh, make sure it's still unlisted. I am not trying to push this out to the public yet. Okay, so save that. And okay, so at this point now, we've got a link to it. So you guys, uh, any of you that are subs of mine or patrons of mine know that I sometimes will release my videos early to some of my patrons, my Twitch subscribers, you know, kind of like a thank you because you guys are helping me pay for food. I give them early access to my stuff. The way I do that is even though this video is unlisted, all I have to do is just give them this URL. So I'll put this in like a private Discord channel that only they're in, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this up. Mock a look here and you best start believing in good. And this is a, uh, an add-on, so don't mind this. We are going to watch this video now and look for any mistakes. This is our last review. And I'm actually gonna oh, move sorry, this slightly so y'all y'all can see the whole thing. This is our last final review. Buckle here and you best start believing in ghost stories, kids, because you're in Spirit Run. Now let's get to the point. Spirit Run is a gauntlet-style event that counts as the second boss of Raid Wing 1. This sucker is a buy one, get one free, and if you can get past the Veil Guardian, this thing should be free loot, with the exception of one training run I did on EU that thought clockwise meant left. It can be broken down into three mini-events. First room, you catch deadly orbs of energy with your head. This is 100% safe and OSHA approved. They will spawn in any of these five points. Throw raid markers down like this and yell at people to run to the orbs in the order that they spawn. Priority number one is stand in the correct spot. Priority number two is kill mobs while standing in the correct spot. That's it. Do this enough times and the room is beaten. Clear the next room. The hardest part about this is not freaking zoning out because you've watched this video 50 times already.
because you have to pay attention. So many times I zone out and I have to back up and re-watch a section because I'm like, dang it, I don't remember if I reviewed that. When a gate opens to a balcony, tell your worst DPS to grab the brazier because that person has lost their weapon privileges. Note, I learned today that it's brazier and not brazier. Apparently a burning brazier is flaming underpants. The more you freaking know. The next section you run from a wall of death coming behind you. Eight people in your raid if you have two healers, then everyone else run through the circle so they cap capture part way. Then continue on ahead and attack the wall. Healers lag behind and finish capturing every circle. Make sure you glide at the drop and make sure you don't neglect the last circle which is way off to the left when the road turns to the right. Once past the final wall, the last challenge appears, standing on five squares. <gasps> The first button is on the ground here, to the right of the stairs. The second button is up the stairs, then straight across. The third and fourth buttons are across the jumping puzzle. One requires a good jumper, the other a mediocre jumper. The final button is across the room and through a small hallway on the left side. Once all of them are pressed simultaneously, for you warriors that means all at the same time, all the attackers despawn and you get the loot. If your worst DPS with the burning underpants didn't screw up, place the brazier here to get extra treasure. You can also jump shroom up and glide to a second bonus chest, then glide out and under the original balcony for a third bonus chest. Use slash GG to kill yourself to return to the group. Now you know how to get spooky. You're welcome. Click these links. Look at that chat, I'm teaching video editing right now. That's it. Start to finish. Start to finish. So we took, uh, let's see, about two, two and a half hours ago. We took this piece of paper, metaphorically, and the raw footage of a spirit run. And we turned it into this guide. <laughs> That's almost an hour per minute of footage. This is what I'm doing five to six hours of the day.